All right, so let's get you guys rolling here. I'm proud of the way our team's um, prepared this week. It's been a good week of prep. Um, you know, feeling the urgency of our group, everybody just doing a little bit more and uh, moving on, stacking some days. We know the challenge it's going to be down there. Uh, really, really good football team um, that uh, we've got to go play well. We've got to go try to go play one of our best games of the season to try to go on the road. Um, and get a win. I'm just giving you guys an update. Dean Lowry um, dealing with his uh, groin. Uh, we're going to go ahead and rule him out. Uh, he will not be available uh, this weekend. And then uh, Brian Asamoa, Jalen Naylor, and Chris Reed are all questionable. Uh, clearly with Naylor and Reed, uh, we'll need to uh, make a roster uh, move to uh, possibly activate one of those guys. And those uh, conversations will take place here. And we'll keep you guys posted there as far as a Caleb, KJ, and BP uh, Brandon Powell will not uh, have an injury designation for the football game. The whole week of first team offense here. Yeah, he had a good week. He really did. Good practice today. Um, he's pouring everything he's got into getting ready. Uh, we're right there with him. Um, you feel the team kind of uh, understanding the importance to you know gravitating towards him, building him up. Uh, pretty lively practice. You know, every you know he made some really really nice throws. Uh, throughout the field down in the red zone and, and the guys were, were pretty fired up for him. So I think he feels like the group's confident. Um, his job, he knows, is just to go uh, continuous preparation here the last, you know, the rest of today and tomorrow. And by the time we hit the field in Atlanta, you know, I think he can go play fast with a quiet in mind and looking forward to seeing him play. I really am. Kevin, the <clears throat> time you spent with Ryan Nielsen interviewing him uh, yeah. for the job, I guess, is there anything that you get from an interview that you can what you learn about a guy that can help you as you're preparing to play against him and coach against him? Yeah, I don't know if there's anything to help. I just know I was I came away came away wildly impressed, both the person, uh, the leader, um, great great defensive mind, and I think it's shown with how his group's playing. Um, they play incredibly hard. They're a really really talented group, but schematically, um, got a lot of respect for Ryan and and, and what he's doing down there. I'm not surprised one bit, and uh, you know it's going to be a heck of a challenge going up against him. How has Josh kind of acclimated to? Yeah, it's probably been a whirlwind week for him. Yeah, it has, but uh, you know, he's—you can tell he's been through this before. Um, you know, not his first time coming in. You know, kind of behind the other guys, uh, just trying to absorb information. He is very, very intelligent, very smart, great communicator, and and I thought he had a good week of practice. And and you know, we're going to be getting some extra work in with him, um, but uh, he's going to go into the game uh, active and and the backup quarterback. Yeah, and there was a, a stat that showed that Atlanta changes their coverages up a lot. They use a lot of different types of coverages. I guess um, when you're preparing for that with a young quarterback, I guess kind of what goes into that when you know that they could throw anything at him on a, on a given down? Yeah, you know, fully expect uh, maybe to get some new looks, some different looks, uh, as talented and as well coached as they are. Uh, it's just about, for me and, and our guys talking to Jaron about technique, fundamentals, uh, letting his feet and eyes kind of be his guide as far as the rhythm and timing of things. And you know what, if if we've got some guys open and, and Jaron doesn't think, uh, you know, he should pull the trigger, uh, that's okay. Just know where you're progressing to, know where to put the ball in play, um, possibly use your legs, uh, all those things. Uh, every single uh, snap in this game, it's going to be about him just doing his job with discipline, you know, understanding what we're asking of him. And, and I think we've kind of done a nice job putting the plan together. I give our guys a lot of credit because um, he's confident in being able to go do that. Now there's going to be, just like our season, just like uh, any season, any game, any quarter, any drive in football, adversity is going to hit and, and collectively as a group. Uh, it could be offensively. It could be a play for Jaron. It could be a play you know, for, for one of our veteran guys, just like what happens every single week. How fast can you move on to the next? How fast can we limit making the same mistake? Uh, multiple times in the game, how fast can we collectively respond as a group, whether it was, you know, your side of the ball was out there or not. Um, that's what's really defined kind of this stretch of our season coming off of a tough start. It'll be no different this Sunday. Kevin, if, if Dobbs had to go in on Sunday, do you feel like he's gotten enough that he could run the full menu or would you have to condense things for him at all? I don't know. I, I feel like he absolutely could, um, just knowing him and, and the type of preparation he's going to finish up the week with. And but I don't know if that's necessarily required. Uh, I would much rather him um, be able to kind of pick and choose. You know, we've got plenty of plays, plenty of inventory. Um, you know, to me, it's about his comfort level uh, with you know 
similar process to what we'll do with Jaron, uh, making sure that uh, he's got a role in, in kind of talking through, you know, the certain aspects of the game plan where he likes certain things over the other. Um, there's a reason why we put some volume in so we can kind of pick and choose as we get down towards the later part of the weeks. So the, our guys around him, I think, will be critical. How fast can we substitute? How fast can we get in and out of the huddle? How fast can we get to the line of scrimmage, get aligned with detail? And, and then I think a real benefit for Jaron is, is that group up front, You know, whether it's Garrett and, and that veteran presence for him in the center position. Um, really, you know, our two tackles have been phenomenal. Dalton might be one of the better communicators I've been around as far as the guard position goes. And, and Ed has played a lot of football over the last couple of years. So veteran group. Um, got some veterans at the tight end position, you know, so and, and then um, I think our skill group as a whole is ready to roll, you know, in the ultimate role to just do their jobs as well as they can to help the quarterback. And I'm excited to watch those guys make plays. I know next week probably seems like a long time away, but do you anticipate the windows being open for Justin or Nick? Um, yeah, I do not. I do not. Uh, I do not have that information as of right now. I think we're going to kind of have some end of week you know, kind of assessment, see where those guys were at, and we'll continue those on into the next week. Um, and when the time's right to get those windows opened up, we'll do that and, and get those guys back practicing again. But um, for right now, our focus is solely on, you know, Sunday in, in Atlanta and taking on a really good team. How much does it help to have Justin still be around and bring in that positive energy even if he's not able to play? Yeah, it's been huge. It's been huge. I mean, same with Nick in the quarterback room. I mean, I don't think Nick has missed a – one minute of one meeting since he's been kind of out and uh, to be able to do that and get his rehab in, side field work, all those things. And Justin's been great. He, I don't think it's a coincidence that Jordan continues to progress. You know, I think Keenan and Tony are doing a great job with him, but there's an element of, you know, mentorship going on from Justin uh, to Jordan and, and KJ to Jordan, same thing. And Brandon Powell, I mean, we've got some guys uh, in that room that can wrap their arms around him and bring him along. Um, you know, those little nuances of the position. Nobody better to coach those than a guy that played 17 years in the National Football League at a really high level. But I think any, you know, any great environment is, you know, those guys can look to their teammates and, and their brothers in that position room for help and, and, and guidance. And we've gotten that from those guys. And I think that's just in kind of his, you know, how, me- how much it meant to him to be a captain. Uh, it means a lot to him whether he's out on the field or not over these past few weeks. And uh, that's shown up. Uh, Kevin, uh, TJ was talking about being kind of a security blanket. I guess what is it about a good tight end that can help a young quarterback? Yeah, I think it's just a you know the size, you know the catch radius, all those things is one thing, but just the you know where they are. Uh, a lot of times inside the numbers. A lot of times uh, maybe not always the top shelf of things. We try to still do some of those things where TJ can feel like he's the vertical element in our, you know, in our pass game. But I think it's just that feeling of I'm going to be where I'm supposed to be, where I'm, you know, when I'm supposed to be there and and, uh, you can rely on me in those moments. I think really that's what that means. I know TJ didn't take him long last year to kind of assume that role for Kirk and and that's continued. Uh, I'd like to see TJ get involved in the in the game early for Jaron and as with the with our other skill guys right there with him, but I think Josh Oliver, Johnny Munt, you know C.J. Ham, uh, all of those guys are just true pros. Uh, they know how to prepare, but they also know how uh, it works with a, a young quarterback in the game. That's true. Giving you a break. All right. I got a question for you guys, man. Why didn't we do this outside today? I saw John with his winter snow coat on. <laughs> Figured we were planning for that, but thank you, guys. Thanks, yeah.